Mail service issues continue to be a concern in North Dakota, and addressing those concerns was on the top of the agenda in a recent roundtable meeting. Now, Senator John Hoven and the U.S. Postal Service Minnesota and North Dakota District Manager Angela Bai and others hosted the meeting Monday. The purpose of the meeting was to discuss proposed changes to regional mail processing in efforts to improve mail service across North Dakota. Now, the meeting comes as part of Hoven's ongoing efforts with USPS to address mail service concerns in the state. One of the main topics discussed was the audit conducted by the USPS Inspector General's office into our district earlier this year. That audit focused on concerns such as delayed mail, package scanning, arrow keys, staffing, and property conditions. Now, any changes due to the audit could come as soon as November of this year, but a bipartisan effort is working to make sure those changes don't negatively impact mail service. That bipartisan effort has called for the USPS to pause the mail process facility review until after January 1st of next year. The USPS has agreed to open a process with the Postal Regulatory Commission to review the impacts of the proposed changes. Senator Hoven also signed on as a sponsor of two bipartisan bills to help ensure reliable, timely mail service. Now, the Deliver for Democracy Act, introduced by Vermont Senator Peter Welch and South Dakota Senator Mike Rounds will help to ensure timely delivery of all mail, including local newspapers, by the USPS and limit rate increases. increases. The bill would require USPS to achieve 95% on-time delivery rate for periodicals or show an improvement of at least two percentage points if they want to access their 2% surcharge authority. The Postal Delivery Accountability Act is aimed to improve the USPS delivery tracking and accountability accountability systems. Senator Hoven also says he's looking forward to all of the audit recommendations being implemented in North Dakota as soon as possible.